Because I know it. Do you know it? Come on, tell us. Who? It's got to be horse racing. I like it. I mean, lots of people think it can only be horse racing. My name is Jane Doratic. I spent 20 years in prison for a crime I did not commit. I thought truth and justice was at the front of everything. And it certainly has not been in my case. I wish I just knew what really happened. I wish there was some way to piece it together, somebody to come forward with the truth. On February 13, 2000, Jane and Bob Dortek are living together in North San Diego. He said he was going out for a jog. That was it. That was the last I talked to him. She reports her husband missing. There was a search for him as a missing person. The next day, he was found in a location two or three miles away from their home. And I stop about right here. I could see the body. And I said, this is Mr. Doherty. He was found to have blunt force trauma to his head. He was found to have injuries consistent with strangulation. It was obvious to me that it was a homicide. They found Bob's blood in his bedroom. The detectives decided, because they saw some blood, that they were in the crime scene. And that Jane was the only one with access to that bedroom and to Bob. There was only one person that could have done this to Mr. Doratak and that was his wife, Jane Dorotek. He said, you're under arrest. I was like, what? I would never hurt my husband. Police say circumstantial and blood evidence links Jane Dorotek to her husband's murder. The bedroom was not a crime scene. I don't doubt that this occurred at the home, and I don't doubt that she's involved. There was blood on the comforter. There was blood on the pillow sham. There was blood on the headboard. When you have a home that's a, a working ranch, you're going to find blood around. It's just problem on top of problem on top of problem. I would declare this crime scene very contaminated. They focused on one person and turn a blind eye to anything else. Jane Dorotic chose murder over divorce. It felt like a nightmare, and I kept saying, when am I going to wake up? Do you believe that Jane Dorotic got a fair trial? No, I don't. I'm in no position to say who did what. I don't have a crystal ball to tell you what happened to that man. What do you believe happened to Bob? I believe Bob somehow fell into some kind of situation. I don't know. I lost my husband, and then I lost my freedom.